Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I mentioned about a series of how to make Instagram carousel with Affinity Design. That video was a full process of how I actually made my carousel. However, there are little things that you're not aware or you're wondering how to do it. Here are a few questions that I received. How do I add transparent images to Affinity Designer? How can I find the right images for my carousel? What's the best way to make the image blend in? Do the images need to tell a story? I'll be answering those questions for you guys in this video. I would like to remind you that you do not need to be a designer to design. In the past five months, I've been learning how to use Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo to design images for my website and my client's website. I have to admit that I cannot do any hand drawing. I suggest that you look into typography, color theory, auto design best practices like negative space, alignment, hierarchy, and so on. Back to this video, I'll show you how to create transparent images for your carousel. Here are a few things I want to remind you. Affinity Designer works with vector images where your design can be stretched to infinity without losing any quality. Affinity Photo works with rasterized images where your design will be stretched or pixelated if the dimension exceeds the design's original dimension. However, you can make the image smaller to keep its quality, not the other way around. That being said, you need to use Affinity Photo to help you to cut the image out. First of all, find yourself a stock image on FreePic, Unsplash or Pexel. These places provide high definition stock images for free, so you can download them and use them for your project. Highly recommend that you use HD image before you proceed to cut out the background. Low quality images will end up with rough edges and they are very hard to trade. Next, use the selection brush tool or the magic one in Photoshop to keep the area you want to keep before you map the rest out. You can also select the bracket key to increase your brush size. HD image works great with the selection brush tool. The edges are sharp enough for the tool to identify where to select. If you make a small mistake, don't panic. Simply hold down the Alt key and select the area where you over selected. I'm using window by the way. When you're done, hit the mask button in the layer panel to mask out the background. When I say mask out, you essentially put another layer on top of your image and you only allow a portion of the image to be shown. If you're dealing with a low quality image, I assume not too low, you can use the refined selection on the contextual toolbar to smooth out the edges of your selection. For too low quality images, it is not worth the time to try to cut out the background. Plus, your image will not be any better than the original image. So it's best to find a similar image with higher quality. After you have masked out the desired image successfully, copy the layer. Make sure you copy the image as well as the mask. Then you can go back to Affinity Designer and paste it on your carousel. If you need to add shadow, select the icon FX or layer effect in the layer panel. You can always duplicate your image, chain to black, and add blur to make the shadow. But this is how I do it with my carousel. It is quick and super simple. Pro tip, in Affinity Designer, select the crop tool to crop out the edges of your cut out image. When you apply the shadow, it will apply to the whole image, so you will see the edges before you pop the image out. By cropping the empty edges, you also remove the unwanted shadow on them. There you have it. This is how I make my image transparent in Affinity Photo and use it on Affinity Designer. Here are a few bonuses. I added three more tips here for you. Stick around until the end. Number one, you can export your image in Affinity Photo directly. You will have to save your image as a PNG file to keep its transparency. Make sure when you export the image, go to document and choose transparent background. By doing this, you do not have to crop the image with the crop tool in Affinity Designer to avoid unwanted shadow anymore. When you're done, you can drag the transparent background image to Affinity Designer and start designing. Tip number two, use online automatic crop tool such as remove.bg.
This is a free tool, but it only allows you to export your image at a certain definition. In other words, they don't let you export full quality image as you will have to pay for it. In my opinion, the image comes out decent enough for online usage. Let's say around 600 pixel on a 1080p pixel image. So I think that's good enough. It uses machine learning to know which part it should remove the background. It is super fast. For small projects, I highly recommend that you use this tool. It already saved me a lot of time. Tip number three, use pre-cut images online. Another quick shortcut is to go to bngtree.com, freebngs.com or favbng.com and so on to find your image. For carousel image uh, with personality, I use icons8.com. They have a good selection of images with people, with different facial expression, with background pre-cut for you. It is free and easy to use. Simply find the image you want and download them. Using this method, you are limited to what is available online. Anyway, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss any future video. Leave a comment below if you find this video helpful. I will see you in the next video. Bye.